This week in Louisiana agriculture, can there be any benefit to this year's spring flooding? Well, if you like boiled crawfish, the answer is yes. From the waters to the web, it's the latest effort to improve the image of Louisiana seafood across the country. I'm Avery Davidson with that story ahead. And with all those wild crawfish coming in, Holly and AJ show you the best way to cook them up, trim and terrific. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks so much for joining us. If there is some good news associated with this year's spring flooding, it's that the Louisiana crawfish season is going to be extended. Right now, the pond catch is drawing to a close here in Louisiana, but with all the high water associated with this year's spring floods, the wild crawfish catch is picking up. And for one Baton Rouge area crawfisherman, his traps are filling up and filling up fast. So it beats what we were catching a month ago with 15 crawfish to the trap, huh? Tommy Fletcher knows a good crawfish year when he sees one. It's been a while since his traps had this many crawfish, and he, his brother Joey Pickens, and fellow fisherman John Teasley are making the most of today's run. Duck, duck, Mike, a little bit. There you go. They're fishing in an area off U.S. Highway 61 between Baker and Zachary, where backwater flooding from the Mississippi River has created new feeding grounds for the wild crawfish population. The high water has increased the food sources, bringing new foliage into reach. And as the water recedes, you can clearly see what the crawfish have been feeding on. And with their appetites in overdrive, the crawfish are eating just about anything you put in the trap. They start to eat that corn, Joe. But this normally floods anywhere from 30 from 28 to 30 foot. So it will get water in here, but this excessive water is what's making it so great. Ah, uh, yeah. For Fletcher and his fellow crawfishermen, it's sometimes slow going through the treetops that were unreachable before the water came up, but it's worth the fight. Right now, Fletcher says he's getting a great price for his crawfish, a catch he says has excellent curb appeal. They're molting and they're shedding out and they're very clean. The muddy water has got a lot of oxygen in it. And therefore, the more oxygen, the more they'll shed and the cleaner they'll be. And it's hard to sell crawfish because it gets hot, people start wanting crabs. If you don't have a pretty product for them to buy, they will go buy the crabs. Crawfishing in areas not normally underwater creates its own challenges. Tommy Fletcher and his fellow crawfishermen use terms like four-wheeler trail, white flag run, and pipeline to let them know where they are. Because the last place you want to be out here is with someone who doesn't know how to get back to the truck. Moving from trap to trap is sometimes a struggle of the senses. You've got to watch out for limbs, fight off biting insects, and always keep a close eye out for what might be dangling just above your head. You're up in the top of the trees and all the animals are with you. So every limb you're in, you're looking for a snake because he's got to get somewhere eventually. For fishermen like Tommy Fletcher, the high water means a longer crawfish season and a little extra money in his pocket. And for those of us who love boiled crawfish, well, a few more weeks to enjoy a South Louisiana favorite. Since the water came up high enough this year and stayed up long enough, and it's still deep enough, we'll be able to fish for quite a while now. It's all about the water. Now on the day I went out with Tommy Fletcher, he caught 25 sacks of crawfish. That's more than 1,200 pounds. Fletcher says live crawfish right now are selling for about $1.50 a pound. In 2010, the Louisiana crawfish industry contributed nearly $200 million to the state's economy.